I'm JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com, and in this video, we are going to show you how to create a RAID configuration using an H740P controller. As well as at the end of this video, we will show you benchmark results from three different types of drives in RAID 5, 6, and 10. We'll be using a PowerEdge R640 as a testbed server. So if you own a PowerEdge R640, you're going to want to consider subscribing to the channel because this will be part of a playlist of how-to videos for a PowerEdge R640 server. Also, in the description of this video, we'll post a link to our PowerEdge R640 hardware upgrade guide. So if you're curious about other upgrade ideas for your PowerEdge R640, uh, we do have uh, a list of processors, memory, uh, controllers, hard drives, uh, pretty much every component that you can think of for a PowerEdge R640. Um, we list the part numbers, all that good stuff. So if you need uh, uh, part numbers to upgrade your server, uh, check out this page. This is our PowerEdge R640 testbed with three stacks of drives that we are going to benchmark. We are using four of each drive so we can benchmark them in RAID 5, 6, and 10. The drives consist of four 300 gig SAS 15K 12 gig drives, four 240 gig SATA 6 gig enterprise mixed use solid state drives, and four 3.84 terabyte SAS 12 gig read intensive solid state drives. Here's a close up look at the Perk H740P controller that we'll be using. Here are the specs to our PowerEdge R640 testbed. Feel free to pause this portion of the video to take a closer look. During our testing process, we configured the H740P RAID by entering the lifecycle controller in POST by pressing F10. We are going to show you a sample of how we configured the RAID. Once you get into the lifecycle controller, click on Configure RAID. It will then bring you into the configuration wizard to select your RAID type. We're going to do a Windows RAID. Step 2 allows you to pick the RAID level. Because we have four drives installed, we have a choice between RAID 0 through RAID 10. For this sample, we'll select RAID 5. Step 3 allows you to select your disks. We'll select all four disks for our RAID 5 configuration. Step 4 allows you to provide attributes to the RAID configuration. We'll use the defaults and name the RAID configuration RAID 5. Step 5 provides a summary of the RAID configuration that has been proposed. We'll select Finish to apply our new RAID 5 configuration. We are now ready to share the benchmark results for the drives that we selected. Before we do that, we want you to keep in mind that not all solid state drives are the same. There are enterprise and consumer grade drives. On top of that, enterprise solid state drives can be read intensive, write intensive, mixed use, security encryption capability, and different block sizes. So keep in mind that the results we show you are specific to our testbed, as well as the drives that we selected. That being said, feel free to comment below with benchmark results if you are running a RAID configuration in your system. Make sure and note the RAID controller, type of drives, and RAID configuration that you are using. We'll start by showing you the benchmark results from the 4 times 300 gig SAS 15K drives. We used a simple program called Add Out Disk Benchmark to record the max read and write speeds. These are the results to the four 240 gig, 6 gig mixed use solid state drives. And finally, the results to the four 3.84 terabyte SAS 12 gig MLC read intensive solid state drives.
If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.